Hello, I am Vivian Graham and I'm a sophomore at Special Music School High School. How long can a human survive without water? This question is a well-known one that everyone can answer. Three days. As humans, we are highly reliant on water. <laughs> Yet each month, four billion people suffer from water shortages. This number isn't going anywhere, and by 2050, over five million people are projected to be suffering from the same problem for inability to access something so basic, yet that our lives all rely on. It was only once I joined the hydroponic farming club at my school that I understood what all our water is being used on. The vast majority, 70% of fresh water used annually, is used in farming. Through antiquated irrigation practices and the mismanagement of resources, roughly 40% of water used for farming every year is underutilized. Irrigation is the process used by farmers to water their crops. They use a sprinkler head to cover their field and shower their crops in intervals. Through the process of irrigation, about half of the water used will be evaporated, run off the field, or get lost in transit. In addition, meat, a huge aspect of our diet, and therefore farming, uses a lot of water. Just one hamburger takes 660 gallons of water to produce. This water that would otherwise be utilized elsewhere is now put back into the environment where it will need to be reacquired and distributed, thus wasting time, energy, and money. This means that 28% of the fresh water used in a year is lost through preventable problems. Such big numbers are hard to imagine, but a visual might help. Farming accounts for two quadrillion gallons of water, enough to cover the entire United States in two feet of water. Imagine being able to save that water, being able to instead give it back to the populations that need it most. This is the problem I plan to tackle in the next few minutes. Water connects us all, on a small scale that is easier to picture, and on a larger scale that is much harder to see. I first became aware of this after reading about the Cape Town water crisis. which can show us all the power of coming together and working to fix our current global water crisis. After suffering from severe drought and water shortage, Cape Town was given a 60-day deadline of how much water they had left before they would run out, or as they called it, hit day zero. But suddenly, the community came together and did something never before seen. They conserved water, shared, and came together to make water accessible to everyone in the community. This initially pushed day zero back another uh, month, then a year, and suddenly they had begun to push it back so far that they were able to avert the water crisis. By the end of this, Cape Town had halved their water consumption in an incredibly short amount of time. This story had a profound impact on me and is one of the reasons I am so passionate about hydroponics. So what does hydroponics have to do with Cape Town? It is my belief that hydroponic farming is, quintessential, is a quintessential part in the solution to water shortages. Through my own research, work, and time, I have learned a lot about the benefits of hydroponic farming. For example, it can grow a significantly greater amount of food in a smaller space through the ability to plant closer together and with greater control over factors such as nutrient content of the water. A 9,000 square foot facility can yield 120,000 pounds of pr produce per year, which is the same harvest volume for 10 to 15 acres of farmland. In connection to this, crops can have up to 50% more vitamins than conventional crops. And contrary to the name, hydroponic farming uses significantly less water than normal farming, as much as 10 times less water. Within hydroponic, water within hydroponic systems is captured and reused rather than allow, being allowed to run off and drain into the environment, saving the billions of tons of water from being wasted as it is absorbed or evaporated in conventional farming methods. Personally, my favorite benefit of hydroponic farming is that because it can be locally grown indoors, you can grow almost any plant year round without pesticides and less fertilizer, meaning you could eat fresh organic strawberries all year round. So it truly seems that hydroponic farming is drastically better than conventional farming, right? What's stopping us from making the switch away from our conventional farming methods? And how can we use hydroponic farming to get water to the people who need it? These were all questions I ran into in my research. Like most things in life, this switch from how we farm is a much bigger task than it seems at first. 
The biggest reason for this is that there is a heavy capital investment involved in starting up a hydroponic farm. The initial prices of setting up a farm are eye-watering, not only causing many to shy away from starting altogether, but many are limited by budget. It is with problems like these that we can all urge big corporations to help make a change. In addition, hydroponic farming requires a lot of energy and many essential crops like carrots or potatoes cannot be grown hydroponically. Although solar power or other new technology could help aid us, it became apparent in my research that a complete switch is unrealistic. Therefore, I turn my sights to ways to help the most people in a feasible way. It is my hope that we can work within our communities to urge big corporations and the government to invest in hydroponic farming. However, not everyone here has government ties or the ability to affect what a company invests in. But I do know that every person has the ability to pull out their phone and Google a hydroponic farm near them, or find organizations such as Farm One, Farm Box Foods, and Freight Farms, all of which are hydroponic farming companies that ship food to people. By supporting hydroponic farming, we not only help the businesses grow, but we show the importance and value they have. This is, of course, only a drop in the bucket, a step in the right direction, but an increase in hydroponic farming can feed more people, increase plants in our diets, and have so many invaluable benefits. By increasing the amount of hydroponic farms, we are making a long-term investment that will pay for itself. We are creating a sustainable, environmentally friendly way to produce mass amounts of food, but also conserving valuable water, so that instead of losing water to the environment, it can be used by the people in the world who really need it, anywhere in the world. Thank you.